Hey everybody, it's Kenny Conklin from Sci-Fi Annecy. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be doing some more work on the uh, Klingon Vulture class battlecruiser. But first I want to thank everybody again for everybody that's been sub subscribing to our channel, if I can talk today. And uh, if you're watching the videos, uh, we hope you do subscribe to the channel. This way uh, you keep up to date on everything we're doing. Also, uh, I'm going to post up a picture right after this little commentary of t-shirts that I want to get done. If you're interested in t-shirts, let me know after you see it and just put comments down in the comment section below down there. And uh, if we get enough, I'll do like a campaign through Custom Ink. And unfortunately, it's only for United States residents that could order them. They won't ship out of the country. But if we get enough from inside the country and outside the country, then we can just set something up where I'll order them and I'll ship them myself. But if we just get people from the United States, then it's easy enough to order from them and uh, have them ship them to you. But enough of the babbling about that, and let's get down to uh, what we've done over here. Not much. Um, the little guy's working the camera today, so I can't see what he's showing you. I'm showing them the little thingy. <laughs> okay, let me... Uh... You can see. Okay, he's showing you the top half, which we need to bring the camera in a little bit closer, buddy. You can do that. I'm going to bring the camera in, and then you want to clear up the focus. Okay, so we got all the windows in. I only have one window left to put over there up on the front and I've been looking there are navigation lights on this thing over on the sides here but how it lines up with the bottom half it's going to end up going into some detail so I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to put those over there I started working on the uh, the bottom front of the ship and stop moving it so much man <laughs> And I don't know if you can see, I'll bring it over to the light, but I put a piece of diffusion in there. This is going to be a green light. This supposed, There it goes. It's supposed to be some lines in there, but I'm going to have to figure out if I'm going to do that or not. Plus, I have to pop out for navigation and stuff over there. Started putting the side skirts on here that don't have windows. I've got to do some filling on the bottom and cleaning this up. And then I also started, since I got the drill bits, I started uh, popping out the holes over um. over here for lighting. And I got to do these over here. And on this side, I messed up. I was drilling through and my hand slid and made a big gap. So I had to fill that in. We'll clean that up and we'll uh, drill the holes again. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to be working on this right now and we'll pop in and out for videos and let you see what's going on. So we'll be back in a little while. Okay, well I've been gone. I've been starting to work on the uh, front nose of the ship. Just fitting things together. There's going to be uh, Definitely some putty work on the seams, some tulip inside to light block, and I'm going to try to get this guy all uh, all done today and light tested, and we'll start from the front and work on our way back. So this is what I'm working on now. We'll get this guy all lit up. I got to figure out how to get a green light in here and do the uh, do the nav lights, and then get this guy all buttoned up, tested, show you the test, and. Uh, get the top back on and get that sealed up with the wires on these pieces these these pieces there's two little clips on the top and bottom if you're doing it you want to cut these off especially if you're lighting it because it goes into the front here which you'll have to open up to thread the wires through to bring that in and then I decided I was going to throw white on the inside of the top half of the uh, the body itself and this is what happens when you forget which types of paint you put on because this has been sitting here for a while so <laughs> I thought I used Duplicolor black and I didn't I used uh, what did I use let me see 
Uh, I used a uh, Rust-Oleum on here and I thought it was my Duplicolor that I put on here then I put Duplicolor white over it and bad reaction so I mean nothing's painted on here so it's no big deal I'll just uh, I'll sand down what I can and then throw it throw it in a brake fluid bath probably maybe not because I don't want to ruin any of the because this will get gummy I have uh, whatchamacallit on there a tulip on here to block it so I probably won't do that I'll just sand it down the best I can throw a couple more coats on there it's the inside it doesn't matter but if you're uh, if there's weeks and weeks between your your painting and you like me and you don't remember what you put on there write it down somewhere so you don't mess it up but I'm gonna get back to working on this guy and uh, see if we could get this light tested today uh, we're still working on the bridge this is gonna be the all-day project well not the bridge the front half uh, working on here added the windows to the front just drilled them out we primered it now I remembered which ones I used uh, duplicolor primer and then duplicolor white on there and what I have to do is I'm gonna build a piece of styrene over the whole thing because once this goes woohoo I already drilled out the hole for the LED but once this goes on here, if we don't light block it, what's gonna ha whoa, what's gonna happen is there's gonna be a glow coming out from underneath here, which doesn't belong there. So <clears throat> we're gonna be working on that, getting this all set up. Started test fitting this. The fit isn't really uh, the greatest. There's some gaps here. I'm really I'm gonna have to squeeze it and clamp it down to get it to stay. Uh, some work has to be done on the sides here. I uh, started light, light blocking the inside. There's a lot of gaps over here. I'm going to mask this guy off. We'll spray the primer and then the white in here. Do the top and start to get the light situation going in here. And then close this up. Fill in all the gaps. Sand it in and, and light test it. For the, for the light up top let me see if I can find it. I threw it in here because I didn't want to lose it. No, I'm not using cool white. I am using the warm whites. Oh no, did I lose it? I'm just not seeing it. Oh no, there it is. I found it. Okay. For, <clears throat> for the inside, uh, let's see, we're gonna be able to see this guy. Okay, what I did was, if you can see that, I flat sanded the uh, the LED to give it a little more, to get it up in there a little more. And if you start sanding your LED, you're gonna notice the top is gonna get uh, all hazed up. If you wanna get it crystal clear, like that again, what I did is uh, I use the squadron sanding sticks. Start off with the, the coarse and then you work your way right down. You go to the medium, the fine, there's an ultra fine one which I lost which will make it even better and then you, you buff it with this and then you buff it with the back side and you get a crystal clear LED again. So there's no problem with that. But we're going to take another break while I do some work on this, getting this all set up, and hopefully this piece will be ready by tonight. And then uh, we'll show you the video. So we'll see you guys in a little while. Bye. Okay, after playing with this for a while, we got uh, all this set up, painted, dried. It's not cured, but it's dry. So we're going to start working on the lights. The, the right there. The front here, this is supposed to be green, so we're going to throw our little uh, power source on and make sure I put the leads on right. And let's, uh, I'm going to have to move the camera over a bit because i gotta, I got to get longer leads for the power supply. 
and basically it's not reaching. <laughs> there it is. That is much brighter on camera than it is uh, on here and I'm noticing I'm gonna have to keep the LED pretty far back otherwise you're gonna just get a hot spot. I'm debating if I'm going to that actually looks pretty good over there. Let me see if I shut off the back lights if that looks any better. Shut that off. And let's get this. Yeah, that's that's really really bright, but it's nowhere near that brightness with uh in person. I couldn't think of what I wanted to say to you guys. But that's that's what that's going to look like. Man, that's really... And the white is really reflecting that, huh? Woohoo! So that's what we're going to do. We're going to... We'll wire this guy up. Get it set in position where we want it. It's going to be right... The tip of the LED is going to be right about here. This way there's no hot spot in there and it's far enough back. And then... Uh, and then we'll get working on that. Let's turn the lights back on. So I gotta wire this up. Uh, we still gotta drill out two holes, top and bottom, for our nav lights, which they're not gonna line up where they're not gonna line up where I want them to on both sides. It's gonna be a little off just because of where the detail is placed on here. So it sh should be like right here and then coming up it's going to be right on the corner of that so we'll do our best to get those in place and we'll get some fiber optics in here okay well it's been an on, on and off day of working on this guy we got the uh, the bottom half put together the, the green light hot glued in all the side skirts on working on that got a couple fiber optics in there that's going to be for the nav lights the top I got the the fiber optics in there for the nav lights this little guy here is giving me a heck of a time with getting how I'm going to get this to light up without anything showing under the bottom uh, let's let me see if dun, 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 let's come up to the light I don't know if you're going to be able to to see it or not. Right there you can see the three little windows there, one there, and let's see if I can get, I doubt I'll be able to get that last one, but there is one on the other side. And those are all all filled in with the the acrylic. So we'll get this guy somehow lit up and looking and looking pretty. Let me bring this over here since that's going to be the end of that for today because, like I said, it's been on and off all day. It's almost midnight. We're going to lose an hour of sleep tonight, and that's going to be great fun. So, anyway, thank you all for uh, watching another video. Sorry it was kind of all over the place today. Today was a rough one. Getting up to the bench, going to do something else, coming back, going back, coming back, 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 back and forth, back and forth. Ah, uh, you know what? Before we do go... Let me uh, pop on a little little machine here. Let's see how let's see let's see how bright it looks from over here. There it is. That guy, we got the light going on in there, so that'll look good once it's all dressed up and done. We'll zoom out on that. But thanks again. Uh, I hear my Skype going off, which means my brother's working on the site and he wants me to answer something. So I hope you have all have a good night. Uh, enjoy losing an hour of sleep, everybody. And like I said before at the beginning of this video, if you're watching the video, please subscribe to us. And uh, this way you keep in contact. And we'll talk to you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.